Hello everyone, this is Soul Sweat with Julia, and I am Julia, and I'm here today with the power flow for you. Uh, we're gonna get twisty, we're gonna open up the heart, it's gonna be lots of fun. So um, if you have two blocks, grab those two blocks. If you don't have two blocks, if you can grab either two pillows or rolled up towels, we are gonna start with the blocks underneath the elbows, and uh, also soup cans, water bottles, something like that for a little extra hamstring length if you don't have blocks today. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanna start you in child pose, like I said, with the blocks underneath the elbows. You can take those blocks either on level one, the lowest level, or level two. Um, just depends on how open you are underneath the arms, the shoulders, deltoids, things of that nature. And make sure that they actually are underneath the elbows. Sometimes they end up underneath the wrists. This way your fingertips can graze the earth on the other side of the blocks. You can allow the shoulders to soften away from the ears and let the heart melt towards the earth. And just take a couple moments here to settle in, settle into you on your mat. And checking in with your body here today. How are you feeling? What are you feeling? And where do you feel it? And let's move a little bit deeper and start to check in with our breath. And as you do, take a nice deep inhale in to fill the breath all the way up to the top. Anything you want to release, let go of. Big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. <sighs> let's do that again. Inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. Nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. <sighs> On your next breath, inhale, fill all the way up to the top and pause. Seal off your lips. Press the air back out through your nose. As you transition into your Ujjayi Pranayama yogic breath, drive the breath in through the nose. Slightly constrict the back of the throat. Press the breath through the heart and down into the belly with the inhale. Exhale from the navel, through the ribs, the throat, and back out through the nose. Continue to find this breath in through the nose, deep into the belly. Exhaling from the belly, through the ribs, the throat, and back out through the nose with that soft oceanic hiss rolling through you. And right now, as you're here breathing, setting an intention, I want you to think about anything or anyone you've been closed off to. Right now, put them in your heart center. And I know that's not always easy to do, and maybe already you're feeling resistance starting to shut down. That's exactly what, why we want to put these people or things or situations there. The thing about that is, is when we close ourselves off to one person very often, or one thing, we often close ourselves off to many. We prevent our light from getting out. We prevent the world's light from getting in. So here today, just focusing on this person, this situation, whatever it is that you've been feeling resistance towards, welcoming them into your heart center and surrounding them with love and light. And then as we practice here today, allowing your love, your light to shine a little bit bigger, a little bit brighter, and breaking through some of that resistance on our mat. So right now, as you welcome this intention into your mind, this light loving energy into your heart. I want you to take one more nice deep inhale in to fill the breath all the way up to the top. One more time, nice big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. On the next breath, slide up onto the hands and the knees, take those blocks or pillows out from underneath your elbows, bring them to the top of the mat, and come on to all fours, table pose on your inhale. Slide the heart forward through the shoulders, tailbone to the sky. Take a moment, pause, roll the shoulder blades down the back, expand the collarbones towards the sky in front of you. And once you exhale, tuck the chin and dome through the spine. And give your head, your neck, a little circle out in one direction. And take those circles back the other direction. Once again, inhale. Lift the heart forward, tailbone rises, pausing here. As you exhale, drop that right shoulder to the right ear. We'll take this left hand, flip the fingertips either to the side or all the way around, if that's okay on your body. 
Get a little extra stretch there through the side of the neck. Keep the heart lifting through the gates of the shoulders as you take one more breath here. And we'll flip the fingertips back around, bring the neck through center, and exhale to the other side, taking that left ear to the left shoulder. And keep the chin lifted up a little higher. And then if you did it on the first side, maybe turning the fingertips to the side wall or flipping them all the way around to the knee. Moving your breath through, through the side of the neck as you take one more breath here. On the next breath, flip the hand back around, bring the, bring the neck through center and exhale, tuck the chin, go through the spine once again. Inhale, come back through cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. This time, big toes come together. Slide the fingertips behind your toes and make your way into a double quad stretch. Maybe letting the head fall back here. Keep the hip bones tilted up towards the chin, the tailbone lengthening towards the backs of the knees. One more breath like this. Inhale, roll it back forward through cow pose, heart lifts, tailbone to the sky. Exhale, tuck the chin, push the earth away, cat pose. Big toes glide together, double quad stretch. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna have you take a few rounds of this, these three postures. Moving with your breath, your movement here. But feel free to wag the shoulders on the way or sway the hips side to side as you move. And again, any movement that feels yummy for your body right now. Take last two full rounds here. you polish off one more round, we're going to meet back together on the hands and the knees. So as you slide back forward into table pose, keep the hips stacked over the knees, walk the hands forward, move into heart melting pose all the way down. We have that openness with the blocks and the start. So you should be feeling a little bit open here to be able to bring the forehead down. Keep the elbows, the forearms lifted up off the earth. Push into the palms of the hands. Micro bend the elbows, bicep spiral up towards the ceiling. Triceps wrap to the outer walls and down towards the earth. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you come up onto the fingertips like you have baseballs underneath the hands. Maybe you're dropping the chin down depending on what feels appropriate for you, for your body here today. Take two more rounds of breath here. And on that next breath, the chin is down, bring the forehead back down, drop the palms of the hands, and plant through the palms, tuck the toes, lift the knees, come into high plank pose, top of a push-up. Separate all 10 fingers nice and wide on your mat, and flatten all 10 knuckles into the earth. Little micro bend to the elbows, push the earth away more with the palms of the hands, start to activate the muscles in the upper arms, the upper back. Shift the weight slightly forward as you glide the heart forward. And then exhale, driving through the heels as you lift the belly towards the spine. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, hips up, chest back, downward facing, auto move the spinasana. Pedal out the feet, walk it out. Bend the right knees and the left heel down. Bending into the left knees and the right heel down. Maybe again, shaking out the head or bending the elbows. Whatever you need for these next few rounds of breath here. On your next breath, inhale high up onto the balls of the feet. 
Exhale, drop both heels to the left side. Keep the inner edge and the outer edge of the feet down. And that right hip crease lifting towards the world or the sky above you, actually. Get that stretch through the hip, the lateral body. Inhale back through center. Exhale, drop both heels to the opposite side, to that right side. And keep that left sit bone lifting up. Getting that nice stretch all the way through. One more breath here. Next breath, inhale through center. Exhale, press the heels down to the mat. Inhale before you settle into that dog, light it forward. One more time, high plank pose. And exhale without moving the hands or the feet. Hips up, chest back, downward facing. Take a couple moments, pause, find stillness in this dog. Rooting down through all 10 fingers. And as you push into the palms of the hands, pop the forearms up. Micro bend the elbows, sprout the biceps. In towards the ears, forward towards the wall in front of you. Triceps wrap to the outer wall and the world behind you. As you feel that expansion through the upper back, like you're twisting pickle jar caps off the mat. Can you pick those sit bones up higher? And press the heels a little closer to the earth and hide them behind the second toe. Draw the navel in. Keep the front ribs lifting to the back of the body as you take one more breath here. Next breath, once again, inhale, roll the body forward, high plank. Shoulders shift over the fingertips, slow with control, lower all the way down to the mat. When you get to the bottom, untuck the toes, and walk the hands back. They're slide up underneath your elbows. Press into the tops of the feet. Inhale, lift the heart. Low cobra. Hug those elbows in towards the ribs and peel up a little bit higher. Float the hands. Feel the strength of your thoracic spine. That's mid back. You inhale up a little bit higher and exhale lower down. Once again, press into the feet. Lift the shins. Activate the legs. Lift the heart for that low cobra. This time, keep the hands down. Those elbows pinned in. Gazing over the top of the, the nose as you take one more breath here. Exhale, lower down. This time, either sticking with cobra or making your way into upward facing dog. If you're coming into up dog, press into the feet. Float the shins and the thighs up off the mat. Keep those legs active. I want you to take the shoulders, roll them away from the ears, expand the heart, shine it towards the sky in front of you. One more breath here. Exhale, hips up, chest back, downward facing, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale as you glide the body forward, high plank pose. Feel free to drop the knees if you need to. Shoulders shift over the fingertips, lower down halfway, Chaturanga. Pause. Flip over the tops of the feet, come into up dog. If you want to stick with cobra, you are more than welcome to do so. Exhale from the core, hips up, chest back, downward facing. Inhale, glide the body forward, high plank, lower down halfway, chaturanga. Flip over the tops of the feet, lift the heart through, urdhva mukha, keep those legs activated. Exhale, downward facing, and one more time, piecing our vinyasa together. Slide it forward, high plank, lower down, halfway, elbows pin in, flip over the tops of the feet, heart lifts, Urdhva Mukha, upward facing dog, exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing. Next inhale, right leg floats to the sky, turn the toes out to the side, bend the knee, open up the hip, take circles with the leg in one direction. And sweep those circles back the other direction. Lengthen the right leg out, toes turn down. Inhale, glide the body forward as you exhale, right knee into the nose. Step the foot in between the hands. Soften the left knee all the way down to the mat. Left palm plants, right arm lifts, find a twist. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, rotate open from the waistline. Yeah. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you want to bend into that back knee, reach for the top of the foot and catch it, getting a quad stretch. And inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, rotate the heart open. If you have the foot, you can grab it from that pinky side edge, opening up the deltoid, the shoulder a little bit more, feel free. One more breath here. 
next breath without flinging that back leg gently release it circle the right hand down and around inhale arms rise low lunge Anjay Asana pull that right hip back left forward press into the bottom of the foot activate the inner thighs squeezing them together to grow a little taller through the crown of the head one more breath here next breath inhale kiss the palms together at the top Exhale, circle the hands down on either side of your right foot. Tuck your left toes under, kick the right leg back. Maybe it's floating at the pada as you lower down, chaturanga. Flip over the tops of the feet, lift the heart, urdhva mukha, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog, adho mukha svanasana. Next inhale, left leg drifts to the sky. Turn the toes out to the side, bend the knee, open up the hip. Circle it out in one direction. Mm, sweep those circles back the other direction. Lengthen the left leg out, toes turn down, inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the foot in between the hands. Melt that right knee all the way down to the mat, right palm plants, left arm lifts as you find a twist. Inhale, lengthen through the spine, and exhale, rotate open from the waistline. Maybe you stay here if you did it on the first side. Bend into the back knee, catch the top of the foot, and roll that left shoulder, left deltoid open. Keep hugging your left knee into center. And sometimes we like to let it drop out to the side. I want you to press through the ball of the foot on that big toe side. Keep it in towards the plumb line, the midline. So if you take one more breath here. Without flinging that back leg, gently release it. Circle the left hand down. Inhale, arms rise. Low lunge, Anjay Asana once again. And soften the shoulders away from the ears. From the shoulder heads, pinky fingers spiral in, thumb fingers out. One more breath like this. Nice breath, inhale, kiss the palms together, lift the heart. Exhale, sweep the hands down on either side of your left foot. Tuck the right toes under, kick the left leg back. Three-legged plank if you want it, lower down, chaturanga. Flip over the tops of the feet, lift the heart, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Next inhale, high up onto the balls of the feet. Look at the hands, walk, step, or float light to the top of your mat. When you get to the top, take the feet hip distance apart. Interlace the knuckles at the lower back. Find a shoulder stretch. Put a little bend into the elbows and bring those palms a little closer together. Then lengthen the arms out as you send the arms up and over. Keep the body weight tipping slightly towards the balls of the feet. Maybe a little softness in the knees. Maybe you're rocking those wrists side to side. Take one more breath right here. Take the hands to the low back. Switch the interlace so the opposite thumb is on top. And once again, work those palms together and then lengthen the arms out overhead. Again, maybe you're rocking the wrist side to side. Let the crown of the head drift towards the earth, hanging heavy as you take one more breath like this. Next breath, hands release all the way down to the ground. We'll grab a block, take a block in front of your right foot. A little bend into the right knee block can be on level one, two, three, depending on your hamstrings, your body. As you plant that palm down, left thumb hooks that left hip crease. Pull the left hip crease back. Feel your sacrum flat, like I could set a tray of drinks on it, and twist it open, sending that left arm up to the sky. And you'll know right now if you need to make adjustments to your block, take it on level one, two, or three, right? Don't you feel that stretch in that outer side of the left hamstring? One more breath here. Next breath, circle the left hand down. Take the block, place it in front of your left leg. Take the left palm, plant it. Softness to that left knee. Right thumb hooks the right hip. Pull the right hip crease towards the wall behind you. Feel the sacrum flat. Again, inhale, lengthen, grow the heart forward. Exhale from the waistline, rotate open. And once you have that, extend the right arm up to the sky. And again, maybe you're playing with a different height on your block. Inhale, lengthen, grow the heart longer. And exhale, twisting open a little bit further. Using your breath, move it through the back of that right leg. 
take one more breath here. Next breath, sweep that right hand down and around. Heel to the feet in together to touch. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen the spine, Ardha Uttanasana, pull the heart through, gazing over the top of your mat. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet, sweep the arms overhead to standing palms, kiss at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, send the arms up to the sky. Exhale, hinge from the hips, flat back, dives you towards the earth. Inhale, lengthen, Ardha Uttanasana, pull the heart through. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, step. If you want it, floating back, landing in Chaturanga. Take your vinyasa. We meet together in downward facing dog, Adho Svanasana. Straight away, as we move through this Sane series, high up onto the balls of the feet, look at the hands, step or hop light to the top of your mat. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen, pull the heart through. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet, reverse swan dive to standing. Palms kiss at the top. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead. Exhale, cascade towards the earth. Inhale, lengthen, Arda. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, step or float it back, Chaturanga. Take your vinyasa. We'll once again meet together in downward facing dog. I'm going to have you take two more rounds of your Sunny series, your breath, your movement. If you want to add anything on, add it on. If you want to go at your own pace, go at your own pace. If you're moving with me, inhale, high up onto the balls of the feet. Look at the hands. Step or hop light to the top of your mat. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet. Circle the arms wide to standing. Palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale, hinge from the hips, diving towards the earth. Inhale, lengthen, pull the heart through. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, step or float it back. Take that vinyasa. We meet in downward facing. One more time, high up onto the balls of the feet. Look at the hands, step or jump light to the top of your mat. Inhale, lengthen, heart pulls through. Exhale, folding in. Inhale, press through the feet. Sweep the arms wide to standing. Palms come together. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, circle the arms up overhead. Exhale, hinge from the hips, waterfall towards the earth. Inhale, lengthen, Arda. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, step or float it back. Take your vinyasa. We meet together in downward facing Adho Mukha Svanasana. Pausing, take a couple rounds of breath here. Nice deep inhales. Nice full exhales. Always welcome to drop the knees in child's pose for a couple rounds of breath. Just thinking about your intention and right here, you breathe in some light, loving energy into your heart center. Allow that light, that love to move through you. As you exhale, bring that out into the world, helping you to crack that heart open. <laughs> okay, especially if we're feeling shut down. Take one more breath here. On your next breath, if you're in child's pose, meeting back together in downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, high up onto the balls of the feet. Once again, look at the hands, step or float light to the top of your mat. Inhale, fingers to shins, lengthen, pull the heart through. Exhale, folding in. Time to bend the knees, sit the hips deep, Utkatasana, chair pose, arms rise. Let's take those shins, pull the shins back a little bit further towards the wall behind you. And sit down a little bit deeper. Peel the heart up a little higher. Draw the navel in. Pull the front ribs to the back of the body. And you melt the shoulders away from the ears. Notice the ball of the feet on that big toe side. Is it pressing firmly into the mat? If so, or if not, can you press it down? Activating those inner thighs as you take one more breath here. 
Next breath, press through the feet all the way up to standing, palms kiss. Exhale, hands to heart center. Bend the knees, hips sit low, chair pose, Utkatasana. Take an inhale, exhale, fold over the legs and straighten them. Inhale, fingers to shins, draw the heart through. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, step or chaturanga when you land. We'll meet together in downward facing dog. On your next breath, inhale, right leg drifts to the sky. Line the body forward, three-legged plank pose. Exhale, right knee into the nose. Drop the shin down to the mat. Pick it back up to the nose. Inhale, kick it up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee taps the right tricep. Bring it up nice and high. Take it down to the wrist. Back up to the tricep. Inhale, kick it up and back, three-legged. Exhale, twist across the body. Right knee taps the left tricep. Down to the wrist, back up to the tricep. Inhale, kick it up and back, three-legged. I want you to keep that right leg high, spiral the pinky toe down, and stamp that right foot on the sky behind you. Take one more breath like this. Exhale, right knee back into the nose, and step the foot in between the hands. Left knee stays soft, but lifted. Press and pose, arms rise. Pull that right hip back, left forward, lift the frontal hip bones up. Make sure that ankle is over the ball mound on that left foot. And so often we're like driving through the heel. I want you to actually shift it forward there. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Keep the belly pulling back. Take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale. As you exhale, open twist towards the right. Keep that right hip again pulling back, left hip slightly forward. Work to stack the shoulders back over the hips, so notice if you're leaning forward. If so, pull the body back in space. One more breath. Next breath, inhale back through crescent pose. Kiss the palms together overhead. Exhale, sweep the hands to the lower back. Interlace the knuckles. Maybe release that index finger for steeple mudra. Draw the knuckles down as you lift the heart up. I want you to take this lift from the waistline up for our back bends, right? That little break in between the hips and the ribs is where we're finding that lift. Take one more breath here. On the next breath, keep the interlace, slide the chest over that right thigh as long as this is okay on your shoulders. If not, you can release the hands, have them on either side of your hips. Otherwise, glide it forward, Virabhadrasana three, with the interlace. Pull the right hip crease back. Tip that left hip so it's parallel to the earth. Maybe a little bend into that right knee if you need to. Pivot that left hip down slightly. And drive through the heel to straighten out that right leg when you're ready. Flex the left foot like you mean it. You wanna punch a hole through the back wall with that left heel. Take one more breath here. Next breath, heart goes lower, leg lifts higher. Keep that interlace, hover just above the earth, then let the hands come down to the ground. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold it in. Keep pressing through the ball, the foot on that right big toe side, again, activating that inner thigh. So you stay lifted through the center of the body. One more breath here, standing split. Next breath, half lift onto the fingertips. Softness to that right knee, just try it with me. Right hand a heart center, left hand a heart center. Oh, warrior three, <laughs> bend deep into that right knee. Giant but light step back, crescent pose. Inhale, palms come together at the top. Exhale, circle the hands down on either side of your right foot. Drop your left knee down, kick your right leg back. Yeah, stamp that right foot on the wall behind you. Left thumb hooks that left hip. Pull the left hip towards the wall behind you. Sacrum is flat. Left arm alongside the ear. Extended table. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale. Elbow and knee. Tap in. Inhale. Lengthen to extend. Exhale. Elbow and knee bend. One more time. Inhale to grow along. Exhale. Hug it in. Lengthen the arm. Lengthen the leg. Bend the right knee. 
Sweep the left arm back, reach back, catch the foot. Yeah. Rolling that shoulder open. Keep the heart up towards the sky. That right knee faces the earth. Take one more breath here. Again, from the waistline up is where we find this back bend, this heart opener. Without flinging that back leg, gently release it. Circle the left hand down. Tuck the left toes under. Keep that right leg lifted. Three-legged plank. Inhale. Lower down, chaturanga. As you exhale. Inhale, flip the feet. Lift the heart upward facing. Exhale. Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. In between sides, inhale, fill the breath up. Exhale, big sigh, let it go. <sighs> Once again, inhale, fill it up. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. <sighs> Next breath, inhale, left leg floats to the sky. Glide it forward to plank. Exhale, left knee to nose. Drop the shin down to the mat. Pick it back up to the nose. Inhale, kick it up and back, three-legged. Exhale, left knee taps that left tricep. Drop it down to the wrist, back up to the tricep. Inhale, all the way up and back, three-legged. Exhale, left knee to right tricep. Rip down to the wrist, back up to the tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Pause right here in three-legged dog. Turn that left pinky toe down to the ground. Stamp that left foot up on the ceiling above you. Keep that foot flexed. Glide it forward as you exhale, left knee into the nose, and step the foot through. Right knee once again is soft but lifted. Crescent pose, arms rise. Yeah, so if you need to put a little bit in that right knee, feel free. That'll help you lengthen the tailbone towards the earth. I do want that heel over the ball mound of the foot, though. And pull the left hip back, right forward. Frontal hip bones lifted and that low belly pulling in. Notice right now the toes scrunching up on the mat. So can you pick them up, fan them out, place them back down. Take one more breath here. Next breath, inhale. And do exhale, twist it open. Open, twist. And shoulders stacked over the hips. So just notice if you're right here. And if so, maybe a little bend into that knee to help pull the upper body back in space. Moving energy out through your fingertips. Take one more breath here. Next breath. Inhale, crescent pose, palms come together overhead. Exhale, circle the hands to the lower back. Switch the grip on the interlace, opposite thumb on top. Again, if you took it on the first time, side, steeple mudra. Draw the knuckles down and shine the heart up. Pulling the shoulders away from the ears. One more breath here. Next breath. Drift the heart over that left leg. If you need to release the interlace, do it. Slide the body weight forward as you float off that right leg. Your Vidrasana three, warrior three. Maybe a little bend in that left knee, pick the right hip down. Once you have that, maybe straighten into the right leg, or excuse me, left leg. <laughs> Definitely straighten the right leg. Keep pushing that heel back, flexing the toes towards the face. Let's do one more breath here. Heart forward, tailbone lengthening back. Next breath, keep the interlace. Heart goes lower, leg lifts higher. Like a seesaw, slow with control. Hover just above the earth. And then release the hands down, standing splits. Half lift onto the fingertips and exhale, melting in a little bit deeper. <sighs> Take one more breath like this. Next breath, half lift onto the fingertips, a little softness to that left knee. Just try it, left hand a heart center, right hand a heart center, warrior three is the transition back. <laughs> Bend deep into that left knee, giant but light, step back, crescent pose, inhale, palms come together at the top. Exhale, sweep the hands down on either side of your left foot, drop the right knee down, kick the left leg back, extend a table. Take the right thumb, right thumb hooks the right hip crease, pull that right hip crease back, feel the sacrum flat and long. And send that right arm overhead, pinky finger down, thumb up. Inhale, lift the heart, arm, and leg, lengthening. Exhale, elbow and knee intersect. Inhale, lengthen to extend. 
Exhale, elbow and knee bend. And one more time, inhale to grow long. Exhale, hug it in. Lengthen the arm, lengthen the leg. Spend into that left knee, reach the right hand back, catch the top of the foot, and roll that right shoulder open. Keep the left knee pivoting down, but lifted, right? This way, we wanna try to get it as high as the hip. As you rotate the heart open from the waist, take one more breath here. Without flinging that back leg, gently release it. Circle that right hand down and around, plant through the palm, tuck the right toes under, float the leg, or float the knee. Keep that left leg lifted. If you want it at the pot as you lower down, chaturanga. Flip over the feet, lift the heart upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, fill the breath up. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Once again, inhale, fill it up. Big exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Take a moment, drop the knees, big toes together, child's pose. Take the forehead, the third eye down. If you feel like your heart is thumping, the breath is racing, can you slow it down with a nice deep inhale through the nose, through the throat, the heart, and down into the belly. Exhale from the belly, through the ribs, the throat, and back out through your nose. Keep finding this breath in through the nose, deep into the belly. Exhaling from the belly and all the way back out through your nose. And then again, with that forehead, the third eye down. Let third eye of wisdom come back to that intention. And seeing that person, that situation, whatever it is that you've been feeling closed off to or shut down to right now in your heart center. And as you feel this heat and this warmth in your body, Sending some of that heat, that warmth, that light loving energy to that person, that thing, whatever it is. Hopefully softening you in this moment and allowing you to feel more open as a result. Take one more breath here. Hey, Nuggy, little kitty Nuggy, coming to do a little yoga. All right, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. On your next breath. Inhale, right leg drifts to the sky. So we're starting off the same way as we just did. Spiral that right pinky toe down to the ground. Stamp the foot on the ceiling above. Glide it forward, three-legged plank. Exhale, right knee into the nose. Drop the shin down to the mat. Pick it back up to the nose. Inhale, this time kick it straight back, three-legged plank. You can always do this with the left knee down. Exhale, right knee taps the right tricep. Drop it down to the wrist. Back up to the tricep. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, coil across the body, right to left tricep. Drop it down to the wrist, back up to the tricep. Inhale, kick the right leg straight back, three-legged plank. Exhale, right knee into the nose and step it through. Soft, left knee soft but lifted, crescent pose, inhale to rise. Exhale as you twist it open towards the right, open twist. Inhale, come back through crescent pose, palms come together overhead. Exhale, sweep the hands to the lower back. Interlace the fingers, releasing that index, steeple mudra if you want it. Shine the heart up, take that inhale. And slide the body forward over the right thigh. As you drift off that left leg, your Vidrasana three, drive through your left heel, stamp it on the back wall. And straight away, slow with control, heart goes lower, leg lifts higher, so we transition into standing splits. Hands come down at the bottom. Half lift onto the fingertips. Exhale, fold it in. Maybe you take this time the right hand around the calf, the left hand around the calf, and find that bind and standing splits. If you want a couple L-shaped hop-ups, maybe you're planting through the palms, activating the arms, and taking some handstand pop-ups here. Take a couple more rounds of breath like this. If you're holding standing splits, that left pinky toe is facing the earth. 
If you have the calf, let's all gently release it. Meeting together, half lift onto the fingertips. Listen to the change. Bend the right knee, step the left foot to the top of the mat, straight into Utkatasana, chair pose, arms rise. Inhale, palms come together. Exhale, hands to heart center. Time, grow the spine long as you inhale. Exhale, hook left elbow outside that right thigh. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, twist it open. Take those shoulder blades, roll them down the back, away from the ears. Try to get the booty lower than the heart. And maybe you're parting your arms here, sending energy out through the fingertips. All that light, loving energy, right? Inhale, lengthen. Exhale once again, rotate it open for one more breath. Next breath, inhale, come back through center chair pose. Ground down through the feet, rise up, tadasana. As you do, float that left leg up, go straight into twisting. Paprita tadasana. Yeah. Here we go. Maybe you have the hand outside that left leg, left knee. Maybe you're reaching for the outer edge of the left foot and kicking it forward. As you inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head, exhale from the waistline, rotate open. Just be mindful that you're not collapsing here if you have the leg extended. If you are, just re-bend the knee, no biggie. I want you to think of a marionette string growing you taller towards the sky, the ceiling. Take one more breath here. So we release this left leg, bringing that left hand down all the way. Grab a block. Block could be on level one, two, or three. Moving into twisting half moon, Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana. Right thumb hooks that right hip crease. Pull that right hip crease back. Feel the safe and flat. Stamp that left foot on the back wall. When you're ready, you can extend that right arm up to the sky. I'm going to give you some options here. So maybe you're here. Maybe you want to move the block and play with floating the fingertips. Maybe you're working on a back bend here. So you bend into that left knee. We're prepped for it, right? Reach for the foot the top of the foot, grabbing it with that right hand. Think about what you took in table pose. Yeah, and then inhale, lengthen, and exhale, rotate the heart open. Keep that right hip crease pulling back. That left knee lifted as high as the hip. Take one more breath wherever you are. If you have that back foot, gently release it <laughs> all together. Soften into that right knee. Float those left fingertips for just a moment. Giant but light step right back into press and pose. Palms kiss. And exhale, sweep the hands down on either side of the right foot. Kick the right leg back. Feel free to take this vinyasa or skip it. And we'll meet together in downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Next inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. Exhale, big sigh, let it go. <sighs> Once again, inhale, fill it up. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. <sighs> Next breath. Inhale, left leg floats to the sky. Stamp that left foot on the ceiling above you as you slide forward, three-legged plank pose. Exhale, left knee into the nose. Drop the shin down to the mat. Pick it back up to the nose. Inhale, kick it straight back. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Down to the wrist, back up to the tricep. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, spiral left to right tricep. Down to the wrist, back up to the tricep. Inhale, left leg straight back. Exhale, left knee into the nose and step it through. Right knee soft but lifted. Again, inhale, crescent to rise. Exhale, twisting open. Inhale, back through crescent pose, palms come together. Exhale, sweep the hands down to the lower back, interlace the knuckles. Maybe release for that index finger. Draw the knuckles down, shine the heart, let it crack open to the sky. Glide the chest over that left thigh. Do you drift off that right leg? Virabhadrasana three, warrior three. Slowly as we move through toppling tree, heart goes lower, leg lifts higher. Standing splits, hands come down at the bottom. And we're taking a few breaths here. So maybe you're here, maybe again. You're wrapping left hand around the calf. 
right hand around the calf and playing with that balance. Maybe you're holding standing splits or maybe you're taking the hands down and finding those L-shaped hop-ups. Some days you have them, some days you don't. This is always worth a try, right? If you're holding standing splits, keeping that right leg active and that left glute hugging in. Meeting back together in standing splits, half lift onto the fingertips, soften the left knee, and step that right foot to the top of the mat, chair pose, katasana, arms rise. Inhale, kiss the palms together overhead, exhale, hands to heart center, lengthen through the spine, exhale, twist it open, right elbow hooks outside that left thigh, yeah. Thumbs at heart center, helping you to rotate from the waistline. Get the booty as lower than the heart. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you start to part those arms. Again, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist it open. Keep that left hip pulling back, that right outer hip hugging in. One more breath here. Next breath, rise it up through chair pose, inhale. Keep that left leg down as you float the right leg up, coming into standing one leg, Tadasana. Exhale, twist from the waistline, left hand outside the right knee. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist it open. Maybe you stay here. Maybe you're reaching for the outer edge of that right foot and kicking that right leg forward. Again, it's not worth collapsing. We don't wanna collapse the spine, so if you're starting to collapse the spine, re-bend the knee. Grow longer, taller through the crown of the head. Keeping those fingertips alive. Maybe gazing out over those right fingertips. Take one more breath here. And the next breath, release that left leg. If you have the foot or the knee, kick that left, or that right leg, excuse me, kick that right leg back as you windmill yourself into Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana, twisting half moon. Grab a block if you need it. Level one, level two, level three, whatever you need. Left thumb into the left hip. Pull that left hip back. Feel the sacrum flat. Lengthen through the spine as you inhale. Exhale, twist it open from the waistline. When you're ready, extend that left arm up. Keep that right leg active and alive. That left glute hugging in. Maybe you're here. Maybe you're floating those fingertips, working on balance. Maybe you're bending into the knee, keeping that knee up as high as the hip and rolling that right, that left shoulder open. Yeah. Cracking the heart open. Wherever you are, breathing through it. I know this is an intense pose wherever you are. With your breath here. Let's take one more breath wherever you are. If you have the back foot, gently release it. All together, soften the left knee, float those right fingertips for just a moment. Giant but light step back, crescent pose. Inhale, kiss the palms together at the top. Exhale, circle the hands down on either side of your left foot. Kick that left leg back. Feel free to take this vinyasa or skip it. We meet together in downward facing. Dog, Adho Mukha, Svanasana. <laughs> Inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. Lion's breath, stick out the tongue, scrunch up the face. <sighs> Once again, inhale, fill it up. Lion's breath, let it go. <sighs> mm, next breath. I'm gonna flow it out, breath to movement here. <laughs> Last little bit, I promise. Right leg floats to the sky. I'm going through it much quicker, slide it forward. Exhale, right knee into the nose. Inhale, kick that right leg straight back. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, spiral, right to left tricep. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, right knee to nose and step it through. One breath, crescent pose, arms rise, inhale. Exhale, twisting, open. Inhale, crescent, palms kiss. Exhale, hands to the lower back. Draw the knuckles down. Shine the heart up. Wide the chest over that right thigh as you float off the left. Warrior three, slow with control. 
into standing splits. Hands come down at the bottom. Half lift onto the fingertips. Bend the right knee, step the left foot to the top of the mat. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Palms kiss. Exhale as you twist, left elbow. Outside the right thigh. Inhale, make your way through chair. As you drive through that right leg, float the left leg up. Come into Pavrita. Maybe kicking that left leg forward like a windmill. Take that left hand down and around. Stamp that left foot on the back wall. Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana. Maybe one more time. You're reaching for the top of the foot to find that back bend. Maybe you're floating the fingertips. Finding whatever variation is right for you. Maybe you're falling all over the place. That is perfect too. <laughs> when you're ready, release the foot if you have it. Then deep in the right knee, step it back, press and pose. Inhale, palms come together. Exhale, circle the hands on either side of your right foot. Kick that right leg back. Feel free to take it or leave it. And we'll meet together in downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. One more time. Inhale, fill the breath up. Exhale, tell me all about it. Let it go. <sighs> Inhale, fill it up. Exhale, big sigh, let it go. <sighs> Next breath. Inhale, left leg drifts to the sky. Just left side to go. Glide it forward. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, kick it straight back, three-legged plank. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, three-legged plank. Exhale, left to right. Inhale, kick it straight back. Exhale, left knee to nose, and step the foot through. Right knee's lifted, crescent pose, inhale to rise. Exhale, open twist. Inhale, back through crescent, palms kiss. Exhale, sweep the hands to the lower back. Draw the knuckles down, lift the heart up. Glide the chest over that left thigh as you float off the right leg. Warrior three, slow with control. Standing splits, hands come down at the bottom. Half lift onto the fingertips, bend the left knee, step the right foot to the top of the mat, chair pose, inhale, palms meet, exhale, right elbow hooks that left thigh. Inhale, back through chair as you step through that left foot, drive through that left foot, float the right knee up. Inhale, exhale, twist it open, maybe reaching for the outer edge of the right foot and stamping that right foot on the wall in front of you. Next. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, windmill the right hand down. Press that right leg back. Pavrita Ardha Chandrasana. Maybe you're here. Maybe you play with that back bend, that twisting heart opener one more time. Maybe you're balancing. Maybe you're falling. Maybe you're over it. Wherever you are is perfect, right? Take one more breath here. Next breath. Release the foot if you have it. Then deep into that left knee. Giant but light step back, press and pose. Inhale, palms come together at the top. Exhale, circle the hands down on either side of that left leg. Extend that left leg back. It is your final vinyasa. Feel free to take it or leave it. We meet together in downward facing dog. Nice deep inhale, fill the breath all the way up to the top. Loudest breath, you side out, let it go. <sighs> One more time, inhale, fill it up. Big side, let it go. <sighs> Drop the knees, big toes together, child's pose. Just take some time, slow down the breath. Nice, four to six second inhales, deep into the belly. Nice, full exhales from the belly, through the ribs, the throat, and back out through your nose. And just taking this opportunity to feel these sensations moving through you and this energy here coursing through each cell of your being and feeling how alive you are right here, right now, in this moment. On your next breath, slowly roll it up. One vertebrae at a time, stack the spine. When you get to the top, shift the hips to the right, swing the legs around to the left in front of you. Alrighty. 
nice work, you guys. Bring the soles of the feet together. Knees fall open. Come into a Baddha Konasana. We need to open up these inner thighs and outer hip babies from all that work we've done today. Grab, feel free to grab water, by the way, if you haven't already. <laughs> and then on your next breath, if you're not already moved there, take those peace fingers and thumbs. Yogi lock, grip your big toes, roll the shoulders down the back. Inhale, slide the heart over the legs as long as you can. I want you to lengthen a little bit more through that lower back, that mid, mid to low back area. I'm gonna turn sideways actually here so you guys can see that, right? I know it's so easy just to round here, but I actually want you to lengthen. Keep it long. When you can't go long anymore, then just let the head hang heavy. Allow the shoulders to soften away from the ears. You're more than welcome to stay here using those elbows into the inner thighs, pressing them open. If you want to release the toes and extend the arms out, please feel free to do that as well. Softening the shoulders away from the ears wherever you are. And again, inhale, grow the spine a little bit longer and exhale to fold in a little bit deeper. Nice deep inhales. Nice full exhales. Take one more round of breath here. On your next breath, slowly start to roll it up, stacking the spine, one vertebrae at a time. And when you get to the top here, take the hands outside the knees, lift the knees up towards the ceiling, kick those legs forward, give the legs a little rock, rock side to side. Start off with your right leg crossed in front of your left leg for Sukhasana. You have the option um, to move into double pigeon right now if you know that that's in your practice and your body is open and ready for it. If you want to start with me in Sukhasana, take the ankles start to walk them towards the outer edges of your mat towards your knees we want ankles and knees stacked on both legs shin is parallel to the top of the mat you've got a nice little triangle there in your legs you're right up on those sit bones flex the feet if you're here you already feel this in the hips great stay here if you want to walk the hands forward again keeping that spine nice and long feel free to do so inhale lengthening and exhale folding in and if you're here and you're like, hey, it can actually take a little bit more in my hips, I would like that, then you'll come into double pigeon. If you aren't there yet, actually stack the right leg on top of the left. If you have a gap of space, you can always bring a block there underneath your knee. Just finding again the variation that's right for you. That's what yoga is about, right? Finding what's right for us, appropriate for us and our bodies. And maybe what was appropriate in your body yesterday isn't appropriate today. That's okay. We are ever changing in these physical bodies of ours. Mm, nice deep inhales. Nice full exhales. If you're getting into these outer hips, Allowing your breath to be your medicine, just swirling around, releasing and letting go of any tension that you're feeling here as you take one more breath here. On your next breath, slowly roll it up, one vertebrae at a time, walking those hands back up. That right leg stacked, just gently drop it down in front. And then switch. Let's take the left leg either in front of, or if you went straight into double on the first side, going straight in now. It's matching whatever you did on that first side. So again, maybe ankles and knees. Well, definitely ankles and knees are stacked wherever you are, but maybe the left leg's just in, in front of for Sukhasana. Flex those feet and start to crawl the hands forward. Inhale. And again, exhale, fold it in. Mm 
noticing what happens with your mind when you slow down. Sometimes when the sensations are great and more intense, it's much easier to stay present and in the moment because you're forced to, right, by what's happening in the body. But when it's a little bit softer, a little bit more gentle, where does the mind go? Can the mind stay present? Focusing on those inhales, those exhales. And stay with what's happening right here, right now. We take one more breath here. And on the next breath, slowly walk the hands back up. Yeah. And if you were in that double pigeon, take that left leg and gently release it. Extend both legs forward and rock those femur bones, those thigh bones side to side. Kick both legs out in front of you nice and long. Flexing through the toes. Right hip walks back, left hip walks back. Inhale, arms rise. Slide the heart forward again towards the toes for as long as you can. When you can't go forward anymore, fold it in. Maybe you're letting the toes flop here. Maybe you're actually finding a little bit of roundness here. If you want to here in Paschimottanasana, please feel free. We have done a lot of lengthening. And sometimes it's nice to round it in. Let's take last couple breaths here. On your next breath, slowly load up one vertebrae at a time, stacking the spine. Send the fingertips forward, pull the toes back, lowering all the way down to the mat for the count of six. Slow and controlled for five, four. Slow it down when you want to speed up on the three, two, and all the way down on one. When you get to the bottom, hug your knees into your chest. Hug around the shins, rocking side to side. Release your lower back. And let's all together take a nice deep inhale. Lift the forehead up to the knees. Squeeze everything into a tiny little ball. Right here, I want you to see that person, that situation, whatever it was in the center of your heart. And as you're giving yourself a hug, giving this person, this thing, whatever it is, some hug, some more love, and seeing that light within you shining bright. You can't keep it inside you anymore. And as you exhale, let all that light out as you crack open. <sighs> Make your way into Shavasana, your final resting pose. breath. If you're ready to come out of Shavasana with me, start to wiggle into the fingers, the toes. Take a nice deep inhale, stretch the arms overhead as you stretch from the fingertips through the body to the toe tips. If it's the first time you're taking this stretch today, and gently rock your head side to side, waking up the body nice and slow. With the eyes closed, Bend the knees and rock yourself over to fetal position. This pose of new beginnings. As you take this opportunity, 
just acknowledge this new beginning here in yourself today. With your eyes closed, press up to a cross-legged seated position on your mat. Once you get there, arms come together at heart center in prayer position, Anjali Mudra. And we're turning back into you, your breath, your heartbeat, and this beautiful energy that vibrates so alive between the palms of your hands, through each cell of your being, and all this electricity dancing around your entire physical being. In this moment, feeling how light and bright you feel. One more time as you come back to that intention, seeing whatever it was that you were shut down here to today or feeling closed off to today in the center of your heart with all this openness and energy moving through you. And giving that to that person or thing. It softens us when we're able to share our light and our love. It opens us up allows our light and our love out into the world and others light and love back into our own hearts and our own lives. But if we're closed off to one thing, oftentimes we're closing ourselves off to many things. So right now, just enjoying this beauty, this gift of this energy that you feel and sharing it with the world around you, knowing that the world around you is giving you that warmth that light and that love back to you, to your heart, to your life, filling you up completely here today. And I thank you so very much for practicing with me, for sharing your light with me, your energy with me, and allowing me to share mine with you. Namaste.